Hello, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm just going to give it a few more minutes. Just making sure in the right place. Today we're going to be talking about our brand new Michener program titled Fundamentals of Healthcare. We'll just give it a few more minutes to see if anybody else pops in. Okay, so I will get started, and then if anyone else joins in, uh, we will talk slowly, so hopefully they don't miss too much. Uh, thank you so much for coming today. This, again, is the Fundamentals of Healthcare Diploma Information Session. Uh, my name is Emma Chang, and uh, Lori, did you want to quickly introduce yourself for the audience? Sure. So, and I'm Lori Pepperbeachy. I'm the Associate Head of Academic Affairs here at the Michener. Thank you so much. And I totally forgot, I am the student recruitment officer here at Michener. Um, I see we already have a question in the Q&A. Uh, we will answer all of your amazing questions at the end of the presentation. And with that, I did want to get us started with a land acknowledgement. The Michener Institute is situated in downtown Toronto. So we acknowledge the sacred land where we are today, which has been and continues to be the traditional territory of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit River among many other unnamed and unrecognized Indigenous communities. At this location, we stand on land protected by the Dish With One Spoon Treaty between the Anishinaabe, Mississaugas, and the Haudenosaunee that bound them to share the territory and protect the land. We recognize this agreement not as a thing of the past, but as a promise today and into the future. We must share the responsibility of ensuring the dish is never empty by taking care of the land and the creatures we share it with and transforming our personal and institutional relationships. This meeting place is still home to many Indigenous peoples across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work and learn on this land. We urge you as future Canadian healthcare practitioners and leaders to acknowledge that it is our collective responsibility to strengthen our ties within the communities we serve and practice healthcare in a way that advances the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's seven health-related recommendations and practice your profession in that spirit. And with that, I will pass it over to Lori to talk about our brand new program. Yeah, thank you, Emma. So first, before we talk about the program, I always like to talk about Michener. Um, not everybody knows what Michener is. Not everybody's familiar with what Michener is. Um, you know, Michener, we were, we were established in 1958. And since then, we've been a leader in applied health education or, or education in the allied health professions. So we're part of University Health Network, which is located in downtown Toronto. And, you know, University Health Network, for those of you that are familiar with Toronto, know exactly how big it is when you walk down University Avenue. Um, it's the only school with exclusive programs leading to healthcare jobs. What that means is, all of our programs are healthcare programs. That is all we do. And 89% of our graduates 
in our graduate surveys over the last um, four or five years, greater 89 or greater have indicated that what they learned at Michener directly contributed to um, their success in their chosen fields. So I'm like, yeah, perfect. Um, so the Mitchell Advantage, we like to talk about this. You'll see a picture of Toronto General Hospital there. As I mentioned, we're part of the University Health Network. <clears throat> it's a school within a hospital system. And what that does is it gives us direct access to real-time frontline insight, current curriculum, um, current practice. The Mitchell Institute's a Canadian leader in educating generations of healthcare professionals. In fact, I graduated from the Michener from the respiratory therapy program um, many years ago, and I'm not going to tell you how many. Um, but, you know, the Michener is in a unique position to really um, evolve and respond to current health system needs. As you're probably aware, there is a health human resource need, or some people are calling it a crisis. We just don't have enough people working in healthcare. Um, so the Minister is in a very unique position to very quickly um, pivot, create new programs, expand our programs to help support our healthcare system. <clears throat> so as I mentioned, we're exclusively focused on the health professions. Some of the programs at Michener are the only ones in Canada, such as the cytology program. We're quality career-driven education. We have small classes, experienced faculty and healthcare professionals. And if you do learn on campus, so if you're in programs that have lab and simulation, we have state-of-the-art lab and simulation facilities. So now let's get into the new program. So the Fundamentals of Healthcare program, um, I've taken the lead on developing this program a little while ago. It is our new two-year diploma. We're launching it this September. And if I can just give you a few facts about the program, it's flexible that helps accommodate your learning needs. So by flexibility, it is delivered in an online format, which works for a lot of people, especially if you don't live in downtown Toronto, or you don't wanna to commute to downtown Toronto. Um, you, get, you can choose, pick and choose courses as you go through the program. Um, that meet your interests and your needs. It's knowledge and skills and competencies that are needed to move into a host of healthcare jobs. Now, these are entry-level healthcare jobs, not healthcare professions per se, but we think of these jobs as being new jobs, existing roles, helping supporting healthcare teams to address the health human resource problem. There's a clinical observation experience course where you have the chance to go to UHN and observe various roles within the hospital, see what you like to do, um, get more exposure to the healthcare system itself and the new roles that are emerging within it. And of course, when you come to the program, if you do have prior learning or prior experience, we will be able to assess that learning and experience and in some cases, give you credit for some of the courses that are in the program. So if you're a university or high school graduate who has an interest in healthcare, you might be a Michener applicant that didn't receive an offer for your program of choice, but you still want to come to Michener. Or perhaps you're an internationally educated healthcare professional who's looking to enter the healthcare in a new role or explore new roles within the Canadian healthcare system. If you fall in one of these categories, this program may be for you. <clears throat> so here's our official program description. I'm just gonna call out a few key terms in here. So it is a diploma program, it is self-paced. And what that means is if you, you know, the program exists of 20 courses, but let's say you have a semester where you're really busy, you're working a lot, you might only opt to take two courses instead of five courses. So you can take it on a full in part or full or a part-time basis. It's flexible, it's customizable. You're able to choose some courses a little bit later on in the program. 
to kind of customize it to what you're interested in. And of course, whether you intend to work in the healthcare setting or you intend to enroll in further health education, it will provide that, that knowledge foundation and opportunities to discover your role within the healthcare system. <clears throat> so to highlight, it's a two-year diploma. It consists of four semesters. The semesters run in the fall and winter semester. There is no summer semester. And it's offered either full or part-time. And you can go back and forth between full or part-time. You don't have to declare that and be stuck with that up front. And you need 20 courses to graduate. Now, here's a list of our program outcomes. We won't read them verbatim, but probably the first outcome there that I think is really important is understanding the Canadian healthcare system. Understanding how it functions, understanding the components and the roles within the system. And then of course, there are some foundational courses such as anatomy and physiology, human body function and health and disease, which is pathophysiology. There'll be an emphasis on communication and, and communication with the interprofessional team, medical terminology, discovering health professions and their roles within the healthcare system understanding basic supportive and compassionate patient care, and then a big focus on navigation and coordination of patient care across um, various healthcare settings. <clears throat> now, all programs um, have Michener competencies. And these are competencies that through the way we teach students, through the way we support students, we expect graduates from all our programs to possess these competencies. These make Michener graduates hireable, marketable, and preferred at many healthcare institutions. So we want them to be collaborators. They need to be able to work um, effectively within a team and also with patients. Be health system thinkers, understanding the health system. Where does your role fit in? Be reflective in their practice, value professionalism, think critically and commit to lifelong learning. And then of course, adaptable. As we know, healthcare system changes, it's changing faster than ever. <laughs> Excuse me, and our, and our graduates need to change with it. So admission requirements. Um, applications are open. They opened on January the 23rd and they'll stay open until May the 31st. So you need a Ontario Secondary School Diploma or equivalent, grade 12 English, C or U level or equivalent, grade 11 or 12 Math, C or U or M or equivalent, and grade 12 Biology, C or U or equivalent. So specific admission requests or questions and um, equivalencies, we can certainly address with the admissions team. Um, not everybody was educated uh, within the province of Ontario. Um, so that's why there's equivalencies there. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna go over just some feature courses. Um, there are more courses than this, but I'll just give you an, um, a bit of a highlight and I'll mention a few others. As I mentioned before, human anatomy and physiology, the healthcare ecosystem, introduction to health and disease, fundamentals of patient care, medical terminology, digital health. And there's two courses here, digital health and the healthcare ecosystem behind the scenes are actually two courses that exist in another program we have called the digital health and analytics program. Introduction to public health, project management, infection control and epidemiology, and the, as I mentioned before, the healthcare observation course. A few other courses to consider. Um, we do have um, a course in research methods. So on an introduction to research methods, which may you know, launch working in a research lab, et cetera. Um, we have a course in introduction to healthcare leadership. Um, Project management, I said, I think there's a few more and I can look them up and, and write a few in the comments. 
only because I know that somebody asked that question, could we actually see the, um, the list of courses? So I will get on that in a moment. Um, if you can go to the next slide. <clears throat> so what are the opportunities? As I mentioned, entry level positions in the healthcare setting. Some of these have not been developed, but we are working on this program in collaboration with UHN to develop these new roles for our graduates, application to other Michener programs, and application to programs healthcare related that are outside of Michener. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with Michener's, you know, Michener, like any other post-secondary in institution, we do have a variety of student services and facilities. So our student success network provides, um, you know, everything from accessibility and accommodations, career counseling, peer tutoring, um, health insurance plans, et cetera. And whether you're, you know, even though you'd, you'd study online, you are still able to access all of those services in an online virtual format. Um, we do have a fitness athletics recreation program. A lot of this obviously is in person, although um, this past year, we actually do have a virtual yoga class, which is kind of interesting. And then if anybody is planning to study in a program that is actually on site, um, a lot of people don't know that Michener does have its own residence, um, a residence that is very similar to other institutions. And the nice thing about Michener residence is it's directly attached to the main building for those snowy, super cold days. And so that is the end of the formal presentation. Um, and I think we'll probably open it up to some questions. Thank you so much, Lori. Um, so I'm not sure if you, do you know if this, someone asked this, do you know if this program is OSAP eligible? It will be OSAP eligible. Absolutely. Amazing. Great. Yeah. Okay. And so someone's asking, can we complete these 20 courses in less than two years? Um, I suppose if you want to take more than the first semester only has five courses, but subsequent semesters will offer more than those five courses. So if you were super keen, you do actually pay tuition by course. So if you chose to take more than five courses in a semester, theoretically you could finish quicker. The other way you could finish quicker is if you do have prior, um, prior learning or prior experience that would allow you to become sort of exempt or receive credit for one of the courses in the program. Okay, great. Um, and Sabrina asked, uh, if, do you know when OSAP approval is expected? Um, it, so all of the um, application and, and paperwork has gone in. We don't foresee any issues with that. As to the date we get the answer back, I would have to check with the registrar's office on that. So we'd okay. have to get back to you. I'm not sure what the timeline is. I think Hamda has their hand raised. Uh, so feel free to, if you want to unmute your mic or if you want to just type your answer in the chat, whatever works best for you. So I don't know if you can unmute. I I think I enabled it. <laughs> I just oh, sent the question. Yeah, hi everyone. Hi. I, yeah, I just sent the question on the chat. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, Okay, uh, so Hamda was asking, could you provide some examples of job opportunities? Yeah, so um, this is, I'll be very honest, this is what we're working on. Um, we've done this in collaboration with UHN. Um, because we don't really expect our graduates for two years, we are looking at, um, with UHN, establishing roles for patient navigators, patient coordinators, um, supporting different units, whether you're supporting a research lab or you're supporting, um, you know, one of the clinical units with um, the role and the job that you would do that um, helps support what we call the regulated staff. So whether it's nursing or social work or respiratory therapy, et cetera, um, some of those non-patient care roles that can be done by unregulated staff. That's what we're looking for for the creation of the jobs. 
Okay, thank you so much. And I think uh, Farine also had a similar question just about career prospects, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I can, actually, other... oh, sorry, I can actually give a few more examples of some courses that might help. Um, so another one that we're doing is an introduction to microbiology, as you can imagine, really laying the foundation um, if you have an interest in going into any of the, the med lab science type programs. Um, introduction to healthcare professions, um, healthcare communication, chronic disease management, fundamentals of leadership, um, introduction to healthcare management and labor relations, um, ethics and professionalism. Those are some other examples of courses. <clears throat> Yes, and I think the uh, the list of courses is also on our website. So if anybody wants to head over there to the uh, Fundamentals Healthcare Program page, there's also a list of courses there as well. Um, so Farina is asking if there is a co-op opportunity for this program. Yeah, it, it's not a co-op per se, um, and I can't I can't guarantee you, but we are looking at future opportunities for perhaps an apprenticeship. But I'll be very honest, it's in the very early days at this point. Okay, any other questions? Uh, feel free to raise your hand or if you wanna type the question to the Q&A. Don't see any more. Those were all great questions, by the way. I'm glad everybody's yeah, engaged, it's amazing. Okay, I guess that kind of wraps it up. So thank you so much everybody for coming. Thank you so much, Lori, for the amazing presentation. Um, I hope everybody has a better kind of understanding of what this new program is. Um, and as always, if you have any questions about this program or any of the programs at Michener, feel free to email the email you see there, admissions at michener.ca. Um, one last call, anybody have any questions? If not, I will wrap it up for tonight. Okay. Great. All right. Well, everybody have a wonderful evening and thank you so much for coming. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.